I'm going to materialize off here. I'm going to talk 42 minutes of my phone. I'm going to talk about the characters now. You're looking at a very interesting video for this. Right? So let's talk about the characters. So for, let's talk about the characters for Last Hope for Xanus. Now, this is going to be an interesting topic here. Right? So for the characters. So for the characters for Xanus, you have what? You have Tactius. Tactius the first, obviously. Right? I'll talk about the human characters first. Let's talk about the human characters first. The human, the human characters, and I'll delve into the animals, obviously. So you have Tactius the first, right? You have Tactius the second, which is his son, obviously. Right? You have Sirius. You have Papyri. You have Tacitonius. You have Cassius. You have Merimus. You have Sarah. You have Lithia. Lithius, obviously, right? You have Lithia. You have Belle. You have Mary. You have Cornelius. You have Job. You have Eli, Elizabeth, right? You have what? You have Mel, you have Lau, obviously. Am I missing anyone else? That's pretty much, that sums it up for the characters pretty much. Oh, you have Zulf, obviously, right? You have Sebastian. You have Cleo. Now I forget the name of the other guy. What's the other guy's name? Francis. Right? Who else is in the book? Oh yeah. He has Induce. Obviously, right? Am I missing anyone? I might be missing someone. So that pretty much sums it up for, for all the human characters. Right? So you have Tachyus the first. You have Tachyus the second. You have Sirius. You have Papyri. You have Tacitonius. You have Cassius. You have Merimus. You have Sarah. You have Lithius. You have Lithia. You have Bell. You have Mary. You have Cornelius. You have Job. You have Eli. You have Elizabeth, you have Mel, you have Lau, you have Zulf, you have Sebastian, you have Cleo, you have Francis, and you have Zendus, obviously. Now let's talk briefly about the characters. So who is, who is Tactius the First, obviously? He is the king of Zanus. He is... Tactius' father, obviously. I don't want to spoil the story, but you'll find out when you read the book, obviously. Right? He is rich. He is what? Powerful, obviously. Right? He what? He rules the north. He is the husband of Sarah. So Sarah is Tachyus' mother, obviously. He is the husband of Sarah. Obviously, right? He what? He hates Eretet. I won't tell you why he hates Eretet. You'll find out why I read the book why he hates Eretet. So that pretty much sums up Tachyus first. So Tachyus at first, he is what? He is the king of Zanus. He is Tachyus' father. He is rich, obviously, because he's a king, obviously. He's powerful. He rules the north, and Zanus, obviously, and Zanus, obviously. He is the husband of Sarah, and he hates Tactius, obviously. And that's all I'm gonna and that's all I'm gonna say about Tactius at first. I don't want to ruin the story for you. He is also what? A minor character, obviously. As he is only in the prologue. I don't, I don't, I don't want to ruin the story for you. 
So that pretty much sums it up for Tachius I. Tachius I, he is the king of Zanus. He is Tachius' father. He is rich. He is powerful. He rules the north. Zanus, obviously. He is the husband of Sarah, and he hates Eretat. I won't tell you why he hates Eretat, but you'll find out when you read the book why he hates Eretat, obviously. Right? Who is Tachius II? Tachius II is obviously what? He is the son of Tachius I. He is what? He is a prince of Zanus, obviously. He is rich. He is powerful. Right? He is arrogant. <laughs> I won't tell you what I mean by that. Right? So that's pretty much something Tachius. So Tachius is what? He is the son of Tachius I. He is a prince of Zanus. He is rich. He is powerful. And he is arrogant, obviously. Obviously. You will find out what I mean by that when you read the book, obviously. And he is what? He is the main character of the story, obviously. He is the main character of the story. Right? I don't want to ruin the story for you, but Tachius is the son of Tachius I. He is the prince of Zanus. He is rich, obviously. He is powerful. He is arrogant, obviously. And he is the main character. Tachius is the main character... He's the main character of the story. You'll find out what you mean by that when you read the book, obviously. He's handsome, obviously. Not to mention that. He is handsome. He's also handsome, obviously. He's me, obviously, right? I'm perfectly well with Tachius. That pretty much sums it up for what? Tachius II. He's the major... So Tachius is the main character of the story, whereas the other characters are, are, are not as major as Tachius, obviously. And Eretat is the main what? He's the main antagonist. In the story. Who is serious? Serious is what? The foster what foster parent of Papyri. He is old. He is what? Grumpy. <laughs> right? He's a farmer. So that pretty much sums it up for Sirius. So Sirius is a foster parent of Papyri. He is old, he is grumpy, and he is what? He is a farmer, obviously. He is obviously, he is what? A supporting character, obviously. That pretty much sums up for Sirius. So Sirius, he's he Sirius what? He is a foster parent of a papyri. He is old, he is grumpy, and he is a farmer. Because si the people he, he because the people from Cyrus are what? Are what? Farmers, obviously. They're farmers. So Papyri is a farmer boy, and Sirius taught him how to how to what? He taught him how to what? He taught him how to make food. You know what I'm saying? He taught him how to catch the chickens and the cows. That's what that's what what? That's what uh, that's a little that's a little characteristic about Sirius, obviously. Right? Who is Papari? Right? Papari is what? He is what? The adopted son of Sirius. Right? He is a farmer boy. Right? He is good friends with Tachius, obviously. He's the best friend of Tachius. Yeah. You'll find out what I mean by that when you read the book. Papari is pretty much Tachius' best friend in the book, obviously. You're looking at it, you're looking at an adventure and an adventure man. I'm gonna take it for a round when I when you read my book in a bit. He is the best friend of Tachius.
And he's what? He's a major, a major character, obviously. Right? So who is Papari? Papari is the adopted son of Sirius. He is a farmer boy and he is the best friend of Tacus. That pretty much sums it up for Papari. So Papari, when you read the book, you'll know that Papari is a farmer boy. He's the adopted son of Sirius. He's a major character. He is a farmer boy and he's the best friend of Tacus. Right? I don't want to talk too much about that because I want to ruin the story for you. Who is Tacitonius? Tacitonius is what? He is what? The cousin of Tacius, obviously. He is rich, obviously. He's, he's, he's royal line, right? He is what? He is powerful, obviously. He's, he's, he's trained in the Zayn arts. I'll talk about, the, the, about, about that later on. Tacitonius trained trained with Tacius since they were kids. So he's trained, he's what? He is what? He's a born fighter, obviously. A born sword fighter. Because he's a northern, obviously. You'll find out what I mean by that when you read the book, obviously. He is a born sword fighter. He is sarcastic, obviously. He likes cracking jokes. Right? So that pretty much sums it up for Tacitonius. Tacitonius, he is a cousin of Tacius. He is rich, obviously. He lives in Zayn's with Tacius. He is a he is a born sword fighter because he's trained in Zayn arts, and he is very sarcastic, obviously. Right. I saw a shitload of names going to go through. I gotta hurry up here. Who is Cassius? Cassius. He is what? He is the cousin of what? Of Tacius, obviously. He is rich. He is what? A noble leader, obviously. He is a general of the Zanian army. He is also powerful. He is a what? A born fighter, obviously. Because he's trained in Zayn arts. So that pretty much sums it up. He is obsessed with Tacius. I'm going to say that. <laughs> yeah. He's obsessed with what? With Tacius. Well being. So that pretty much sums it up for Cassius. So Ca who is Cassius? Cassius, he is a cousin of Tacius. He is rich. He's a noble leader. Obviously, right? He's a noble leader. He is a general of the Zanian army. He is a born fighter. He is obsessed with and he's obsessed with Tacius' well-being. I'm not gonna spoil the story for you. You'll find out what I mean by that when you read the book. And that's the character that's the characteristic of Tact of Cassius, obviously. Who is Miramis? Miramis. He is. I forgot to mention this. Um, Cassius is also a major character in in in, in the what? Tacitonius and Cassius are also major characters for the what? For for the book. I forgot to I forgot to mention that. So Cassius and Tacitonius are major characters are, are major characters in the um in the book. So the, the, the four main characters in the book are Ta Tacius is a main character, whereas Cassius, Tacitonius, and Papari are the other major characters, whereas everyone else is supporting characters. I forgot to I forgot to write that down. So who is Merimus? Merimus, he is what? The captain. Of what? Of the wall of the of the archers and wall guards. What do you mean wall guards? You'll find out when you read the book, obviously. Right? Right? He is what? He is a born fighter, obviously. 
Now, pretty much sums up for Merriman. So, Merriman, he is a captain of the archers and the wall guards, and he is a born fighter, obviously. And he's good friends with what? With, well, he's good friends with, with Baramis. And he is what? He's a supporting character. He's not major, but he's supporting. A supporting character. So that pretty much sums up for Merrimus. So Merrimus, he is a captain of the archers and the wall guards. And he is a born fighter and he's good friends with Baramus. Obviously, I forgot to mention Baramus, by the way. Oh my god, I forgot to mention Bar that That's who I was missing, obviously. I miss Baramus, yeah. <laughs> I forgot to mention Baramus. Right? Yeah, man, I'm going to have to... This video is gonna be a long video because I still have a lot to talk about. I have to talk about the animals, the the animals. So there's a good chance, in a good thirty, in a good I don't know. I have I have about like like twenty five thirty minutes left. So once I finish this video, this part, I'm gonna to have to upload. And I'm gonna to have to continue from where I left off. You're looking at a long video here, man. Because I want I want to delve in depth about all these characters. So who is Sarah? Obviously, right? Sarah is what? The Queen of Zanus, obviously. She is Tachius' mother. Right? She is rich. She rules Zanus. Right? Right? She is what? She's obviously powerful. Powerful politically, obviously. Politically. I'm, I'm butchering I'm butchering the name. So who's Sarah? She's a queen. Oh yeah, she's a mother of Lithius, obviously. The mother of Lithius. Which is Tachius' half-sister, obviously. I have one of you and half-sister. Again, you'll find what I mean by that when you read the book. So Sarah, she's the queen of Zanus. She's Takis' mother, she's rich, she rules Zanus, she's powerful politically, and she's the mother of Lithius, obviously. That pretty much sums up what? Sarah, Queen Sarah. She's a queen of Zanus. So Queen Sarah is a queen of Zanus, obviously. Right? Who was Lithius? She is the sister of what? The half sister of Tactius, obviously. She's a half sister of Tactius. She is a daughter, the daughter of Sarah, of Queen Sarah, obviously, right? Right? She is rich, right? That pretty much sums it up for Lithius. So who is Lithius? Lithius is a half sister of Tactius. She's a daughter of Sarah, Queen Sarah, and she's also rich, obviously, because she's a part of the lower line, obviously. So she's Tactius' half sister, and she's rich. She's a daughter of Sarah, and she is a half sister of Tactius. And that's why for Zane, you're looking at the best story of told man, because you're looking at an amazing fucking story. You have all these characters that I, that I fucking created for my book, man. You know, a lot of characters in my book. Who is Lithia? My wife will be playing Lithia, obviously, right? Who is Lithia? Lithia, she is what? She is the daughter of Eli, who is what? The leader of Sophia's, obviously. She's rich, obviously. So even though Eli is rich and 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 and, and um, Lithia is 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 her is his daughter, Lithia Eli's wealth is nothing compared to Tachius. So even though Eli is the richest man in the south and he's the leader of Tachius, he's not as rich as Tachius, obviously. Right. So she's rich, obviously. Right. Bell is her best friend. As well, Mary, obviously, right? Right, she's a sweetheart. 
That's all I'm going to say. I don't want to ruin the story for you. So who is Lithia? So my wife will be playing Lithia, obviously. She is a daughter of Eli, who is a leader of Sapius. She's rich. She's not as rich as Takius. Eli is rich, but he's not as rich as Takius, obviously. She's rich. Belle is her best friend, obviously. As well as Mary, and she's also a sweetheart. Yeah, that sums it up for Lithia, obviously. I need to hurry up because I'm running out of time. I want, I want to get the characters over with before my, my camera, my time on my camera runs out. The way I can upload the video and I can continue it and I'll talk about, I'll talk about the animals. Every time I fool on in my next video. Because I, I still have a good like 30, 30 more, 30 more events. Like a lot, a lot, a lot to discuss, obviously. Who is Belle? Obviously, right? Who is Belle? She is the best friend of what? Lithia, obviously. She lives with Lithia. Right? In her house, obviously. In her large house. Right? She is weird. You'll find what I mean by that when you read the book. He's fucking weird. He's a weird woman. That's why the actor chose for Belle's perfect for the role. Because I saw her in Victoria's. Oh my god, she's perfect for Belle. You know so who is Belle? Belle, she's the best friend of Lithia. She lives with Lithia in her large house. And she is fucking weird, obviously. You'll find out what I mean by that when you read the book. <laughs> yeah, man. It's fucking funny, you know what I'm saying? Right. Who is Mary? Right? She is a good friend of, of Lithia, obviously. So Belle is Lithia's best friend, but Mary is, 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 is her good friend. Mary's not Lithia's best friend, but, but like she's a really good friend of Lithia, whereas Belle is Lithia's best friend. She's a, she's, a, she's a good friend of Lithia and Belle, obviously. Right? I forgot to mention... Um, Belle, Lithia is a good her, is a good friend of Mary, and Belle is a good is a good friend of Mary also. So she is a good friend of what Lithia and Belle, obviously. She is what she lives with Lithia, obviously, at her house. At her house, obviously, right? Yeah, she lives with Lithia at her house. She is jealousy and crazy. <laughs> yeah. Jealousy, curious, and crazy, obviously, right? You'll find out when you read the book. So who is Mary? Mary is a good friend of both Belle and Lithia. She, lo she lives with Lithia at, at her house, and she's jealousy, curious, and crazy. And she's, she's, she's strong, too. She's strong. She's a bigger lady, obviously, right? That's why all the actors chose the role are perfect for the role, man. That's like what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah. And that's why Zayn's will be the best star of the most ambition. Imagine adopting this, adopting this as a picture you're listening to her. Right? Who is Cornelius? He is what? He is the captain of the blacksmiths, obviously, right? Right? He is big and strong. Big, muscular. And strong. Right? He is Eli's right-hand man. That pretty much sums up for Cornelius. So he's second in command in Safius, obviously, right? Right, so who is Cornelius? Cornelius, he is the captain of the blacksmiths. He is a big muscular man, a strong man, obviously. He pounds weapons, right? For the Zanians. He is Eli's right hand man, and he's second in command. That sums it up for what? For what? Cornelius, obviously. And Cornelius is a supporting character. 
Mary, Belle, Lithia, Cornelius are all supporting characters. Whereas Papyri, Tastoys, Cassius, and Tacius, those are the major ones, obviously. So who is Job? I forgot to write that down. Who is Job? Oh, obviously, right? He's an interesting character. Job, he's an interesting character, Job. <laughs> Job is what? He is a pothead, obviously. Right? So he smokes a lot of weed. Right? He's a pothead. He is Eli's caretaker. Eli's hired caretaker, obviously. That pretty much sums up for Joe. He doesn't like Northerns. <laughs> well, the Northerns don't like the Southerns. That sums up for Joe. So Joe, he is a pothead. He is white. Not too bright, obviously, right? That pretty much sums up for Joe. Joe, he is a pothead. He is Eli's right hand. He, he is Eli's hired caretaker at his house, and he's not too bright. That sums up for Job, obviously. Right? Who is Eli? He is what? The leader of Sapius. He is rich. He is what? The father of Lithia and the husband of Elizabeth. He was in here. He is powerful politically, obviously. Politically. Right? I spelled politically wrong. I'm butchering him. So who is Eli? He is a leader of Sapphius. So he's, you'll find when you read the book. He is a leader of Sapphius. He is rich. He is the father of Lithia and the husband of Elizabeth. He is powerful, very powerful politically. You'll find a lot of that when you read the story. In what? Tacus or Colonias, right? You're looking at something, you're looking at an amazing what chapter for that. Who is now? Everyone else are all very minor. Again, Eli and Job are supporting characters. They're not major, but they're supporting. They're pretty major characters, supporting roles, obviously. Whereas those four I mentioned are the major characters. Who is Elizabeth? These are all minor characters now, right? And the, she is what? The what? The mother of Lithia and the wife. Of Eli. Right? That's pretty much so. I pretty much so. so Elizabeth is a minor character. She's not that big in the book, obviously. But she's pretty much the, she's the mother of Lithia and she's the wife of Eli. That's pretty much what that what who Elizabeth is, obviously. Because Elizabeth is a very minor is a minor character in, in the what? In the um in the book, obviously. Was Eli is supporting, Lithia, Bell and Mary are all supporting, Job is supporting, Cornelia is supporting, whereas the other ones are not as supporting, obviously. Who is, I'll do this, who is Mel and Lau? So I'm running out of time here. They're minor characters, very minor. They are the kitchen workers. In the castle, obviously, right? In the castle. Those are that sums it up for what? Mel and Lau. So Mel and Lau are obviously they're what? They're sisters, obviously. And they're what? They're the they're, they're the kitchen workers in the castle, obviously. Are they sisters? I, th I forget. I forget. I don't think they're sisters, no, I don't know. But the, all I know is that they're the kitchen workers in the castle. I have so many characters I forget some of the stuff comes in. <laughs> yeah, they're the kitchen workers. Who is Zulf? Again, a very minor character, obviously. Right? 
right? He is a member of the Zanian army. That's pretty much it, obviously. He is a member of the Zanian army. He's a very minor character. He's only in a couple scenes, and that's it. But he's a minor character. All these guys are all minor characters, except for Baramus. Baramus is pretty major, obviously. Baramus is a bit more minor. He's, he's pretty major. Right. Who is Sebastian? I'll do this. Who is Sebastian? Sebastian, Cleo, and Francis. Right? Let me show my camera for a sec.